RealAgriculture.com's coverage of the Southwest Ag Conference in Ridgetown, Ontario is brought to you by High Stick NT, CNM Seeds, and Pride Seeds. We're here at RealAgriculture.com with Mike Verhoof from Becker Underwood. Welcome today, Mike. Thank you. Mike, we're at Southwest Ag in, uh, in Ridgetown. Uh, there's, I've heard some discussions around time on seed with inoculants. Can you talk about that a little bit? Yeah, absolutely. So there's a number of different markets on the, or products on the marketplace today. Um, when it breaks down to uh, on-seed survival of the rhizobi, it's, it's key. And there is a distinct difference in the marketplace of what is available today. So with our products under the High Stick NT brand, so we have High Stick NT Peat, and we have High Stick NT Liquid, and then we have uh, Heiko NT S225. Um, with our peat product, uh, once you apply it to the seed, so in other words, once you open that pouch and apply the peat to the seed, uh, you have 24 hours of on-seed survivability of that rhizobia uh, before you need to get it in the ground. After 24 hours, it starts to deteriorate the number. Uh, uh, like at what, at what rate or what pace will it deteriorate? Yeah, fa fairly quick with the peat product after 24 hours. And basically why that is, is you open up that uh, enclosed, protected area where they're living inside the pouch and you expose them to the environment and uh, the bugs will start to die, basically. So once you get them in the ground, they're fine because they get to live off all that good stuff in the ground. So we need to get the, pro the peat product on the seed and into the ground with 24 hours. Different with our liquid product. So our high stick NT liquid product, uh, once we apply it to the seed, we actually have 10 days of survival. And what happens after 10 days is it doesn't just die. They're not just gone. They just slowly start going down. And in Canada, we have a CFIA governed um, that basically we need X amount of living rhizobia per seed. Mm -hmm. And uh, what happens with the liquid product, um, it has lots of bugs on there, it has the liquid product to live off of once it's on the seed, and then after 10 days it starts to go down. Okay, so why, like that, I guess, why wouldn't I always choose the liquid then if I have 10 days? Why, wouldn't, why are people still going with peat? So, different use products. So peat's very easy to apply, very easy to work with. Um, you can sprinkle it on the seed in the drill, you can sprinkle it on the seed as you fill the drill, you can apply it to the seed as it goes up the auger into your drill or into your planter. Very easy product to work with, convenient to work with. Liquid, a little more difficult to apply. It's a liquid product that we're applying to seed. You need a very consistent dribble coming out of the bladder that it comes into, a consistent flow of the seed. It has to be mixed through an auger. So in a lot of situations, some farmers don't have an auger or don't put seed into the drill with an auger, so liquid doesn't really work for them. And you have to properly apply it through that auger to get a consistent coverage. Um, you know, each seed needs to be some kind of speck of the liquid on it so it has enough uh, rhizobia on it to go. Um, so the big difference in the, in the uh, different products is the application how it's being used. And one of the things I've run into talking with growers is, you know, what's the best product for their operation? So we talked about peat being 24 hours, right? We talked about liquid, high stick liquid in tea uh, with 10 days. We can actually uh, apply or add our Becker Underwood liquid extender product to our liquid inoculant and now get 30 days on seed uh, survival. Where that is, product, is that pretty common where you would need 30 days? So where that fits in is with a, a bulk seed retailer. So a retail that uh, has bulk seed, uh, he's bought it from the seed company, he has bulk raw seed in his bin. He custom applies the seed treatment and adds the liquid for the grower. He can add extender to it, so then the retailer, the farmer, has up to 30 days before he needs to plant that seed. So a huge convenience factor. So he can literally bring his wagon or his truck into a dealer two weeks before he plans on planting. The dealer can custom apply either just the inoculant, the inoculant and seed treatment if he wants, put it in his wagon, take it home, and then the seed is ready to go, pre-inoculated. He doesn't have to do anything in the field, and away it goes. So if I'm using the peat and I've only got 24 hours, and uh, say I wait 48 hours, right? am I getting 5% effectiveness, 25%, where, where would that kind of yeah. wash out? It's, it's pretty hard to uh, get a specific percentage on where you're going to end up because of the environments it's in, time of day, temperature, all that kind of good stuff. So basically we say if it gets caught more than 24 hours, you want to reapply an aqua. You don't want to gamble. With you want to totally reapply. You want to totally reapply. And that happens. You know, you could fill up your drill, get planted in the field, rainstorm comes in, your drill's half full, right, with peat. And, um, you know, it's going to be two days, three days before you get in the field again. And there again, you just apply peat, you reapply it, and away you go. And that 24 hours, is gone, you've gone through, that's gone through a lot of testing. That's kind of a solid... Yes, that's a solid number. Yeah, yeah okay. And that's, uh, that's actually leading... You know, when it comes to our peat product, our high-stick NT product, we are the only bio-stack product available on the market today. So you look at our peat product, our liquid product, and then 
we talked about the convenience of the 10 days or the 30 days with the liquor. We actually have the only pre and Auckland BioStack product on the market today called High, Stick, High Coat NTS225. And with that product, it's being custom applied or applied at the, at the seed company and so professionally applied. Uh, we're getting 150 day on seed, seed survival with uh, leading seed treatments that are available today, so such as Cruiser Max or Apron. Without seed treatment, we're actually getting 225 day on seed. But there again, that's applied at uh, the seed processor level. And how uh, popular has that product been? That popular is uh, growing uh, leaps and bounds. We're going to be probably two to three X uh, sales over last year with that product. And the one key thing that's driving the interest in that product is convenience for the farmer. So the kid, farmer can actually buy his soybean seed out of the bag with the best seed treatment available, with the best inoculant available in the market. And he's ready to go. And he's ready to go. It's like an RTA. Buy yep. it and plant it. Yeah, exactly. Perfect. Okay, Mike, thanks a lot, and we'll talk to you again soon. Thank you.